always preferred to call pop music like folk music because it's the, the, the music of the people. The beauty of simplicity, as much as I like very complex things, I like very simple things too. And for me, you have to have both. You fall in love, simple. The sky up above, simple. is caving in. Wow! A falling in love. I used to walk to school, which was about half an hour walk, and I would sing. I had no idea that anybody would ever hear it. It was more just my method of interacting with the environment, especially spatially. You know, you'd walk down a hill and you sing the verse, and then on the top of a hill was the chorus, you know. And Iceland is amazing for, for spatialness, if there is such a word, because it's so stark. There's very few people there and very few plants and very few animals. <laughs> There's a lot of room for you. in bands for like 15 years and they were all like with you know drums bass and guitars and then when I started doing my own stuff I was like a kid in a toy shop so I wanted to use all the all the toys <laughs> For example, with strings, on debut we sent a couple of songs to India and Bollywood strings were recorded on it. And then when I did Homogenic, I decided, okay, now I'm going to figure out what is the Icelandic string sound and make, that was my patriotic album. I mean, a part of it is also just entering the unknown and not being stagnated. I totally uh, know about this, this view that, that you know, Computer music has no soul, you know. But I've always felt that if you put if you put soul into your music, there's soul in your music. If you don't put soul in your music, there's not soul in your music, you know. You cannot rely on a computer or a violin or a guitar to do it for you. It it won't. You have to do it. When I wrote Human Behavior, that was actually a melody that I wrote when I was in the sugar cubes. Um, and, it, and we never finished that song. I was, in a way, pretending a little bit that I'm David Attenborough and I'm looking at the humans, like I'm an anthropologist, you know, and I'm trying to work out what sort of their behavior is. <laughs> Visual element is, is, is very important way to express yourself. I mean, that was one of the things I thought was helpful, for example, with being really involved in the videos. If people watch and listen at the same time, they understand the nature of the song the quicker, you know. There does exist a visual representation of every music. The, it, inside, you know what, what it looks like, and it's better, truer to, to send it away from you in the right packing or, or the outfit. I go through all this before you end So I can feel happier to be safe again with you. I go through all this. I do think of, of music as this kind of unknown things that needs to be explored. And usually I'm a lot more excited about all the CDs and the albums and the MP3s that have not yet been made. Shh.